visit aromacup.com, the world's leading single-serve coffee guide. Join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find coupons and reviews on great single-serve gourmet coffee machines, coffee capsules, and more great information, all available at aromacup.com. Hey everybody, this is Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys for joining me here today in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Today I'm going to be giving you a little overview of the differences between the Echo Brew single serve uh, coffee making option and the Solo Fill Cup, which is another single serve coffee making option for you to use if you brew with a Keurig machine at home. Both of these options are for Keurig machines and these are great ways to be green about your coffee making. People always ask, you know, how can I be green if I'm using K-cups which are disposable? And they are, they're disposable, you get rid of them after one use. Well, you can be green in your coffee making if you use these options. Now, of course, I've talked about these units in the past. You can check out our other videos. I want to show you guys the differences between these two units specifically, because these are two of the best ways to make your own uh, coffee and to be green about it when you are making single serve coffee. So, I'll show you a little bit of difference here. Here's the Echo Brew. Cool thing about the Echo Brew versus the Solo Fill that you're going to notice immediately is that balancing these two is a lot easier on the Echo Brew. <laughs> With the solo fill, you kind of have to balance it, and it's going to be a little hard to fill that way. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, both of these options, of course, they use BPA-free plastics, which is great. Um, but they're a little different in their coffee making. Let's look at the Echo Brew first. If we open up the Echo Brew, you're going to notice that the inlet on the top for water is a little different than it is on the solo fill. Let's open up the solo fill right here. The solo fill has the OctaFlow system, so it's got eight slits here in the top inlet for uh, injecting water into your coffee. The Echo Brew has a much wider cone here with a lot more holes in the inlet, so that's a very different thing. And you know, it distributes the water differently. You may find that you like one more than another. That's something to always keep in mind. Both of these units feature a wire mesh filter on the bottom of them, but they're a little bit different. The solo fill, of course, has this sort of final outlet here on the bottom where all of your coffee comes out of after you've brewed it. And it's also got the wire mesh on the sides. So it brews coffee a little bit differently than the Echo Brew, where, of course, we have our mesh filters on the sides. But we have this nice big uh, area down here on the bottom, again, with the wire mesh filter. So those are the two, some of the major differences between these two units. And one thing I do like about the Echo Brew is that I can stand it up while I'm filling it. Um, but I've used the Solo Fill for a long time, and I enjoy the coffee that it makes. I enjoy the coffee that the Echo Brew makes. It's really up to you, of course. Now, let me go ahead and show you how these work, of course, because that's the most important thing. Let's go ahead and make use of the Echo Brew first. I'm just going to fill this guy up with some pre-ground coffee. Just get that opened up and start to fill it up. Of course, the strength of your coffee will all depend on the ground that you are using, the type of coffee, various things like that. But that's one other thing that I can mention about the Echo Brew in, in comparison with the Solo Fill. You're going to notice the Echo Brew is deeper as compared to the Solo Fill. You can get more coffee into the Echo Brew. So if you like a good, bold cup of coffee, the Echo Brew is a good way to go because you very simply can get more coffee grounds into it. And let's go ahead and brew with the Echo Brew. Important thing to remember when you're using the Echo Brew is line up these concave sides with the concave uh, brew concave sides of your brew basket in order to make sure they are brews properly and sits in the basket. Let's close this guy up. Again, you can see how quick and easy this is. Drop a cup in here and I'm just going to go ahead and do our smallest cup and start brewing. Both of these options, of course, have a primary focus on being able to make your own coffee and staying green. And if you are very specific about your coffee, you know exactly the flavor that you like, you'll want to explore an option such as the Echo Brew or the Solo Fill for being able to make your own coffee in the world of single-serve coffee making. So, you know, you want to check these out, try each one and see what you like the most, of course. So there we go, there's a cup of the Echo Brew. It's nice and it's bold, it's very dark, and that'll depend on the ground that you're using, but 
Again, the echo room with its deeper basket size, I think that, that really helps to give you a more bold uh, cup of coffee. So, there's our cup with the echo brew. Let's go ahead and do a cup with the solo fill. Now, of course, again, with the solo fill, I really can't balance this guy and fill it up, so you gotta hang on to it when you're filling it up. And you see, I've already filled the solo fill up pretty much to where I was able to get a lot more into the echo brew. So that is a difference to keep in mind anytime that uh, you're looking at the difference between these two units. Now, with the solo fill, you can just simply drop it into your brew basket. It doesn't really matter how you set it in because it's not as deep as the brew basket on these curing machines. So let's close that guy up and let's do a brew with the solo fill. Again, I'm going to do the same cup size, which is the smallest cup size. So here we go. Of course, while the machine's doing its job, I'll do mine and ask you guys to check out aromacup.com. Make a free account, talk with other coffee lovers on our forums, read reviews about great single-serve coffee machines and your many options when you are going into the world of single-serve coffee, which we will help to demystify for you, as there are many, many options. So there is a cup with the solo fill. There's not too much of a difference between these two, but of course, you know, everything is subjective when it comes to taste and how you like your coffee to brew. Uh, so you want to try these out and really, of course, decide for yourself. I just want to show you guys the difference between these. Now, one other thing is that with cleanup on these units, I have noticed that it's a little faster with the Echo Brew. And the reason for that is that the Echo Brew, because it's flat on the bottom, it's a lot easier for me to kind of flip it over flick it on the bottom and put the coffee grounds into, in my case, my compost box for taking out to a compost heap or anything like that. With the solo fill, because it has this outlet on the bottom here, coffee has a tendency to kind of get jammed in there. And so sometimes you have to wash this out a little more, or shake it a little more to really clean it out. It's really not a big deal, but it's something that maybe will be important for some folks out there when they're looking at these two different options. But there you go, that's the Echo Brew and the Solo Fill, two great options for going into making your own coffee with single serve coffee machines and being green about it. I hope that you guys found this useful. Again, please check out aromacup.com if you're interested in purchasing either of these, these uh, great single serve coffee making options, check out the link in our description. You can follow that link, find a great way to purchase either the Echo Brew or the Solo Fill Cup. These are both, again, great ways to make your own coffee at home on your single serve machine. As always, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you found this useful, and I'll look forward to talking to you next video. Take care.